All right, we're back. Just did the Marshall Arrowhead Pale Ale. We took about a 30 minute siesta. Well, we didn't fall asleep, but we sat down, so. And now we got, we have the California Lager. From Anchor, is it Anchor? Yep. Yep. It's, uh, what do we say it was? 4.9. A 4.9% alcohol. It is, well, it's a lager beer. Oh. <laughs> we're, not, we're not reading the, the, the back story. Yeah. You want to read the back story? No, I don't. <laughs> so since it's from California, it's limited to 10 ounces, like their magazine capacity. Of a smell. It smells like like your cheaper beer, like your cheaper yeah. Tastes like a pilsner. Yeah. Not bad. That's probably one of the cheaper made beers yeah. from them, but it's not bad. No, it just it tastes like a like a little stronger Budweiser. Yeah. I'd rather have a I'd rather have a, a honey brown. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because honey brown's a good beer. <laughs> Got a slight bitterness to it. Uh, it mainly tastes like cheap grain. I think it's a bunch of filler. Nah, it's not a bad beer. It's uh, as you can tell, it's not real dark. You know, there's nothing floating in it. Yeah, it's it's a good brewed beer. It's a light beer. Definitely can be a party beer. Oh yeah. Most stuff from Anchor is kind of expensive, so their barley wine is great. I like their barley wine. Their porter's pretty good. Nah. But this is a uh, something I expect to see from like some off the wall cheap company. You can buy a Budweiser and you got more flavor. Oh, yeah. But it's... It does taste a little cheap, but it's... It's got a decent... Uh, actual taste of bitterness and... You know, medium on the dry. Yeah. Yeah, no. Well, it didn't dry my mouth at all. And the aftertaste... You know, to me is a big factor. I don't like a bitter aftertaste. Uh, this one here had it a little bit, but to me it was more of a sweet aftertaste. Yeah. Not really that bad. Um, I would buy it. It's not a bad beer, you know. Uh oh. I'll do a shout out for you. This just in, Chris Maycock. I subscribe. Thank you, Chris. Man, it's been a hell of a day for subscribers. Man, I've gotten like, uh, like that's probably subscriber number four just today. So I think I'm sitting at about. Let me check real quick. I think about three seventy-five or something right there. Let's see. Three sixty-five. So, he's going to give a number. Alright. Uh, for being a ship, or no, it's not a shipyard, I'm sorry, an uh, anchor, I've definitely had a lot better stuff from them. Uh, you're going to be paying the 
medium premium price. Uh, I'd have to give it a, a five and a half. I give it a seven. Um, most of that, you know, this is my first time drinking that. And I don't really know what the price of it runs. You know, anything over seven bucks for a six pack probably wouldn't be good. No, it's, I think mean, it's probably sitting around nine, nine fifty. Yeah. So there you go. Diane Feinstein on the front of the bottle there. That old tired hag needs to take a seat in the coffin. Leave my gun rights alone. So there you go. That overall got about a six and a quarter, six and a half, something right yeah. there. Uh, it just tastes a little cheap for being uh, the name. So we got one more to do.